Welcome to Bourbon and Barrels Next Tasting. Uh, today it's just Mike and I, Dave. Hi, Mike. Um, we're going to go ahead and do three tastings. Again, the same kind of format, low proof, medium proof, high proof. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention is we do uh, bourbon and guns reviews on this channel, so uh, but never on the same day at the same time because drinking and guns never mix. So uh, here we go with the first tasting. Don't know what it is. It's a low proof. We'll give it a shot. Smells good. Smooth. Very smooth. Mm. Comes in with a good uh, aftertaste at the end there. It's... I do like that. I don't know what it is, but I do like it. If I had to, it's not super sweet, which a lot of your low proofs tend to be super sweet. Um, and it's definitely not oaky, so it's not a really old one. It's got a nice, it's, it's a dark color to it though. Mm. Um, Maybe it guzzled that too fast. Wait, hey, <laughs> it's got to be drank some fa some way. Drink it the way you like it. Mm. So I always tell people, drink it the way you like yeah. it. If you like it neat, if you like it straight, it's got a long finish. I'm noticing that. That went down too easy. I can still feel it in my mouth. I'm not getting that throat that that choke out sometimes you get from a, a bourbon uh, when it's like really oily. Um, if you want to go ahead and give it a score, well, I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah, I, I think that's a solid seven for me. That's definitely one I I will drink. Um, I'm fluctuating between six five, six eight. Um, I definitely I'll go ahead and go with the six eight on the higher end. It might be higher, but I don't want to. I don't know, but I definitely like it. I think it's definitely got some good, great flavor, great finish. No crazy burn on it. Um, it's definitely something that I would definitely um, throw on the shelf and uh, grab after a long Thursday at work. Mm. Um, so what do we got going on with the low proof? Bottle number 22? Or no, wait. Yep, bottle number 22. Somebody has them wrong on the paper. It's been sealed crazily. <laughs> Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Wow. 90.4 proof. I would definitely... Uh, I, it was good. I certainly didn't get lots of oak I from did it, not. But uh, it's very good. Remember when I said it was dark? Yeah. That double oak definitely darkens it up. Yeah. Very good, though. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our second tasting, which, again, it's middle proof. I'm not going to try to figure out what I have the uh, proofs leveled out yet. We'll figure that out after we do two or three tastings. We'll see where the numbers are. Um, it's definitely not as dark as the first one. Um, great flavor. Some nose profile, rather. It might even be... That's sweet. That's very sweet. Sweet, a little bit of heat on the finish. You see the oils running down the glass, so it's, I would say it's non-chill filtered. It's got a flavor there. I don't know what it is, but it's got something that's kind of like, kind of there, kind of. That sweetness caught me, caught me off guard because I'm expecting a higher proof. And this is definitely a, a sweeter one for, for, a, for a mid proof one. Mm -hmm. Mm 
almost like a, I hate to sound cliche and talk like these fancy bourbon tastings are, but it's almost like you can almost take a, like a popsicle stick. It's definitely got sweetness to it. Still fairly smooth, but a little bit of, a little bit of burn on the back end on that. And you can definitely taste like, like you said, the proof. It's definitely proofy. At least it tastes proofy. I don't know. Watch it be like an eighty proof or something like that. <laughs> um, I, I uh, it's not my favorite. Um, it's definitely not as good as the uh, the first one. No, I'm gonna give it more of like a five seven uh, rating on that for sure. I'm probably at six six on this one. Let's see what we uh, what we got going here. We got this bottle twenty five. That is Harden Creek Jacobs Well, hundred and eight proof, and that's a fifteen year. Wow, it's definitely you can definitely uh, taste the proof in that. It's definitely definitely there. Definitely. Uh, that's right on the verge of too medium oaky. to high. Yeah, it's almost it can like it's almost like you could you can definitely taste the fifteen years and fifteen years is you know mm -hmm. fifteen to eighteen is my high sweet spot. I prefer like twelve to thirteen is is almost a perfect age. Um, for I for like a daily. It. I like it, but not as well as the first one. And it's definitely very sweet going down. Um, definitely got that, that's like I said, I can taste like a popsicle stick and I always make fun of people that make comments like that, but it's just one of those things that I can definitely, uh, mm -hmm. you can definitely see the, uh, the fingers on the, uh, on the glass too. So, all right. All right. We're going to move on to our third one in the tasting. This is our high proof. So this should be. Uh, one ten or higher. I don't. I don't. It doesn't smell high proof. It does not. Hopefully, we didn't get them mixed up. <laughs> Us, we'd never do something like that. We're we're the consummate professionals here. Hmm. Definitely got a bite at the front. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely taste that cinnamon and Ooh. a little bit of a little bit of burn on the front. Then it goes smooth after that. Yeah, that first that first hit is uh, definitely still has some sweetness to it. It's almost like it's a it's got like that it's got like the light sweetness like it's almost mm -hmm. like a Weller like a Weller twelve type sweetness yeah. but a little bit of burn. Hopefully that's not what this is. Because if I guess it, it means I'm no, really, that, really good. That wouldn't be in the right proof uh, for that. Yeah. One, 110 and above. Oh. 112 is 112. Is it, oh. is it? Wait, no. No, I don't think no, it's that hot. I'm thinking 107 is 107. Yeah. Proof. That's... It's definitely got that high proof burn. I like that probably second best of what we've had so far. So maybe Definitely six similar. and a half on that. Let's see uh, what we got there. I agree. I'm I'm gonna go probably like a six three. Definitely, it's it's definitely better than Ooh. the medium one. And that uh, one's a one sixteen point eight wild oh. turkey rare breed. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, it's not in the wild turkey glass. I was hoping you'd yeah. you got these glasses backwards. <laughs> yeah, wild turkey rare breed. That that's one that I uh, do like and have liked before. So I'm glad uh, glad I still like it. That's definitely good. Um, so um, if you like what you see here, uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, we definitely will be doing tastings and. We may throw videos up on our uh, Twitter handle or X, whatever it's called now, and there may be some shorts we put out with each of us maybe sitting at home, taking our phone, recording a quick little 
10, 15 second video about something we like at the house. So that way you, kind of, you guys will kind of understand where our palette is and what we like individually. So where I would, you know, grade something a five, seven on the medium and Mike did a six, you know, you might say, well, whose taste buds do I agree with more? And by telling you what we like and what we enjoy, that'll give you an opportunity to kind of understand whose palette is more aligned with yours on things and yeah. go from there. And everybody's is a little different sometimes. So absolutely. Uh, like this time I happen to like that low proof a little bit better. And sometimes I do like the higher proofs better. So yeah. And it depends on the day. And, and I'll always say, you know, we're drinking them straight, no ice, no water, uh, still neat. Um, and I always tell people, uh, I had a, a tasting with somebody and, uh, he said it best. He said, people are going to drink the bourbon the way that they like it. And, you know, and I hate when I see people making comments on people's videos or on people's Twitter handles where they say, Oh, I can't believe you're mixing X with Coke or whatever. And I always say, if they enjoy it that way, yep. absolutely. You, you paid for it, drink it, drink it how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. It's your money. It's not nobody else's. I mean, I tend, I tend on the nicer ones not to mix them. Yeah. But sometimes I will put, ice in there proof them down a little bit smooth it out other times i'll you know just do it neat in the Glen Cairn. so yeah especially like above like 115 116 sometimes that's where you kind of want to maybe throw an ice cube in there and let it set for a second or two and uh, go from there yeah. uh but if you like what you see like i said please like and subscribe we can use the viewers uh we have a couple uh videos in the can right now and we're going to be doing some more uh, gun reviews real soon and uh uh, today's video again um, is sponsored by our current only sponsor, Right to Arm. And uh, if you have any needs for firearms or firearm questions, feel free to give them a contact. If you didn't see the last video that Cody did with the new Sig Sauer 365 Legion, check that out. That's uh, been very popular since it came out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big seller. So uh, thank you again and uh, keep drinking your bourbon. <laughs>